Um, you know, dis disappointing effort, di disappointing night. Um, I thought first quarter we were we were okay. You know, we lost. We wound up uh, losing that quarter by two points, uh, and the game was lost in that second quarter, uh, thirty-nine to twenty-three. Uh, obviously, our bench unit that came in uh, just uh, their bench dominated our bench in that first half. Uh, so we built ourselves a big hole, and we're playing behind the rest of the way. Uh, that's two games in a row. They'll give Minnesota credit. Uh, they they have definitely been the the better team, the more aggressive team, the more physical team, uh, and they showed. You know uh, they had 20 transition points. They had 13 offensive rebounds for 19 points, uh, and they made 19 threes. So uh, you know Torian Prince and Malik. Torian had six. Malik had four. Uh, and those guys obviously should not be getting that many open looks where they're shooting that efficiently. So. Um, Obviously, we have one more game in this road trip. We are uh, have to try to go to Salt Lake City and uh, end this road trip on a, on, a, on a win. But tonight was definitely a, a disappointing night across the board. Diving a little deeper into that second quarter, what happened or what did the Timberwolves do that really challenged the second unit tonight? Uh, once again, I think it starts with uh, the approach. You know, I think those guys were geeked up, ready to play with the aggressor. Uh, they had us on our heels, I felt, most of the night. Um, they were the more physical team. So, I mean, literally that, that second unit in the first half just, just moved the ball, got open threes, got whatever they wanted. We couldn't score um, to save our lives in that quarter and we couldn't get any stops. So uh, obviously I will watch the film, Katie, and figure out, um, you know, what we, what we can and will do better. How much do you think the turnovers played a factor, specifically that first half when it got away from you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the turnovers or are, are, are something that, you know, as the game went along, we got cleaner at, we got better at. But um, in that second quarter, especially, it was really everything. It was our inability to value the ball, our inability to get back and get stops, defend the three, defend the glass. Uh, and that's what happens, you know, when you allow a 39 to 23 quarter. Um, so uh, disappointing to say the least. But as I reminded our guys, you know, uh, we weren't expecting you guys uh, for us to win every game the rest of the season. You know, I mean, we've been playing very, very good basketball. Uh, tonight was definitely not one of those nights for us, but, you know, we'll get back to the drawing board and get back uh, to playing our brand of basketball. You know, when you play, uh, and I'll ask you pregame about Jared, like, do you have to remind your guys that they, that their guys might be coming in with an edge? Do you have to prepare them or, or is that not even part of the conversation? No, a band who plays like that every night. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's. I, I don't think um, there's too many games for guys to circle. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go against the Nuggets. Mm -hmm. Orlando's okay, fighting for a job, a contract. So I think, th to his credit, that's how he approaches every game. I mean, so we do talk about, hey, he's our leading offense rebounder, three and a half. He is going to crash every time the ball is his shot, and and he does that. He's relentless. So you give him credit, but obviously, you know, he grabs five of their thirteen and. And you can talk about he's going to go to the glass. You can talk about Torian Prince and Malik being three-point shooters. You can talk about their physicality. But, you know, stop. And talking don't mean anything, man. You got to go out there and do it. Uh -huh. and, and, and we you know, we, we, we just didn't do it um, enough tonight. And that's why we got our butt speed. One more, Mike. I'm good. Uh, go ahead. How concerning is it to see what Minnesota was able to do when you will pitch off the court? That's when they really I'm not concerned. Like I said, you know, we, we've been playing really good basketball. It's been a really long road trip. We've been gone for, for a long time. Uh, this is the NBA. You know, stuff like that happens. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.